We've built a door here, and on this we've attached a Lockatron to the deadbolt. The Lockatron's an interesting device. It contains a battery pack to power the Lockatron itself and any electronics you want to power, as well as a built-in motor, a device to control the deadbolt, and some limit switches, which I've attached some wires to. There's ridges along this circle that the limit switches can look for, and as those get pushed, you get an idea of which state the Lockatron is in. We fed the wires from the switches to an RF Duino, and the motor, which is housed in this piece down here, is being controlled by one of our motor controllers. All of this being controlled by the RF Duino. The RF Duino allows me to use Bluetooth Low Energy to send commands to the device and unlock and lock my door as I see fit. Now that we've unlocked the door, I want it to close behind me automatically so I don't have to pull out a key or some other device. We've hooked up a reed sensor to the door which is connected to the Edison and that'll tell me when the door closes behind me and will automatically lock this. Let's give it a shot. And one final cool thing about the Lockatron is that the rings are set up so that you can manipulate the lock by hand without having to activate the motor. The Lockatron also comes with this neat little cover plate so you don't have to stare at these ugly electronics the whole time. And to route the wires to the outside of the Lockatron, I had to cut a notch right here in the plate so that when it fits over it, the wires can still be routed to the outside. Like so.